Hey there, welcome back to another episode of Backseat Drawing Workshops. I'm Eric. I'm Josh. Today we're going to be doing an eyeshine tutorial because this has been requested a lot by people because I've been doing a lot of different kinds of eyeshines in the recent episodes of Backseat Drawing where we've been drawing Pokemon. And so what we're going to do is two different kinds of eyeshines. One is a simple style, which you see in this drawing already. And then two is the more kind of like glossier eyeshines that I've been doing in a lot of the episodes recently in backseat drawing. So the first one is really, really easy. So we're going to just zoom in on Chica here. It's basically the same kind of eyeshine that you see in all the other characters. I just kind of left them intact. And then it just erased Chica's eyeshine so we can kind of show you what we're going to do here. Which is very spooky and you shouldn't have done that that way. Yeah, I get a lot of flack in our streams because I tend to do the eye shine last. And so the stream audience has to look at the characters like this for a really, really long time. It's like, oh. Yeah. So it's real easy. What I'm going to do is just use the first brush in my set, which is this like oval thing. And of course, you can download these brushes in the link below this video. Uh, but it's just this first brush. I'm going to grab a white. And then on a new layer above the, the drawing, I'm going to just kind of reduce the size and then go whop, dot. And then whop, and then a dot. That's so literally just, it. So it's just a very like hard brush. It's hard-ish. I pushed hard, but you can see the opacity is like light. But then if I push hard, it's really opaque. But here's the thing: I don't leave it just like that. What I do is I'm going to double-click that layer. It's going to bring up the layer style palette. Okay, but how do you know where that shine goes? Is it dependent on where the light is? I'm glad you asked because I probably would have just not done that. So, <laughs> if as you can see, the lighting is coming from this direction. So Ooh. since an eyeball is a ball, like you can imagine it's like this is the shape and then like it's like if it was a beach ball or something or whatever, it's kind of like that. Soccer ball is better. Basketball, football. Okay, so the light, <laughs> light's going to come from that Baseball. direction. And so it's going to hit the shine like that. Ping pong ball. Football is probably the best one. No, it's not. <laughs> so well, as I was saying, I, I put okay. in the shape. I double click this layer. It brings up the layer style palette. Uh, then the thing I want to do is add an outer glow. And I usually want to pick a color that's kind of homogenous with the color of the lighting that's in the scenario. So the color I'm going to pick today is uh, reddish. Not a radish, but reddish. You're just pulling the red randomly? You're not pulling it from the I, I just use I just use this little palette. Like you can mm -hmm. click the little box and it brings up the thing to allow you to change that color. Ooh, green. How about that? But yeah, so I kind of pick a reddish color because the as you can see in the other parts of the drawing, it's a similar like Freddy back here has a, a red glow around his eye as well. So I'm going to just increase the spread and size just a touch so that it's not as hard edged and then just lower the opacity just enough so that what's happening is it looks like the light hits the eye creates a shine, but then around the light source, it's almost picking up the light color inside the eye. Like the color inside the eye is like glowing out from the eye. So that's why I did the little layer style thing there. So that's the first kind okay. of eye shine. So that's similar to, like I said, the other shines that we have in this drawing with Foxy and Freddy having kind of like a red glow in there. All right, so let's kill that one again. The second Ooh, cool. shine which I've been using in more uh, the more recent episodes of Backseat Drawing is a little more complex. So we're going to make a new layer again, and this time we're going to use a big, big airbrush. All right, so I'm going to Now this is just a brush that has very little opacity to it. And it's yeah, just it's got soft, over. soft edges. Well, it can be really opaque if I push really hard. Okay. Really, really soft, but the, the... Very soft edges. The soft edges is key. So I'm going to go ahead, and I'm going to create two spots here right on the eye. That's our eye shine but we need to make sure it's not overlapping part of the drawing. So I'm going to go ahead and erase out just a little bit just to give the edges that's near the edge of the eye, like where the lid. Would you would... ever do this as a clipping mask? Eh, I'm not about that. I just go right for it. <laughs> okay. But you can. If you want to retain the editability of it, then yeah, you can definitely do that. But the reason I'm kind of giving it a hard edge on this side is because that's actually the shadow that's being cast by the eyelid itself. So it's going to have a harder shadow there, and the rest of it's going to be a little more fuzzy because it's a it's a ball, so it needs to fade out. So let's imagine that we had windows in this establishment that had panes on it, like the the panes itself are going to show up in the reflection of the eye shine. So since a an eye is a ball, it's going to distort the image that's being reflected in the eye. So you're not going to have like literal straight lines like this. Instead, like if I were going to draw this this window, it would kind of follow 
the shape of the eye. And let's say that there's one pane of glass that's Ooh. going, or a pane that's like this. This is spooky right now. It is spooky. And then another pane that's right there. And maybe there's like a little figure in the background. Maybe that's Purple Man or whatever uh, right there. Looks like teeth. And I don't really, I don't really put a lot of detail into these, and you'll see why in just a second here. So we have kind of a spoopy reflection in the eye. It's a little too much, right? So we have to lower the opacity. So I'm going to just knock that down to about half of its strength and then step back and make sure that looks okay. And now we're going to do the same kind of eye shine that we did before. So I'm going to make a new layer, go back to that harder edge brush, and I'm going to say that, okay, maybe there's a little more contrast right in here where we can imagine there's like maybe a spotlight that's shining right in Chica's eye. And then you can add like little sections in the other parts of the eye just to round it out just a bit more. But I don't, I don't like overdoing it too much. But as we step out, you can actually see now it looks like there's oh. a window reflected in Chica's eye. And that's the reason why I didn't put a lot of attention to detail in those details because when you step all the way back out, you're not going to see it. So you can just kind of sloppily put something in there. But it's a really easy way to add like a reflection or just an eye shine by just doing a couple little things here and there on the eye. That's really cool. Well, yeah. Thank you for sharing that. No problem. I hope this helped you guys, and we will see you on the next episode of Baxi Drawing Workshops. Tell you later. Alligator. <laughs> that was a terrible joke.